Welcome to Facts in 5, a presentation of the Fruitkin Law Firm. We provide our clients with legal services in the areas of business law, asset and estate planning, bankruptcy, and litigation. The Fruitkin Law Firm has office locations in Phoenix and North Scottsdale. You can visit us on the web at www.fruitkinlaw.com. Hi, my name is Travis Williams, and I'm an attorney with the Fruitkin Law Firm. Today, I would like to discuss purchasing real property for a few minutes. An experienced attorney can provide valuable assistance by negotiating terms of the purchase and by reviewing documents relating to the purchase and documents or public records concerning the property that may have significant consequences for you. First thing you need to do is to identify a property that suits your needs and that you can afford. You need to consider the property itself the surrounding property, the cost of purchasing the property. Of course, these costs will include the purchase price, but also may include insurance, taxes, loan fees, closing fees, and possibly an association transfer fee. You should also consider the cost for maintaining the property in the future, such as, such as your loan payments, insurance, property taxes, and owner association assessments. Now, Let's focus on your intended use of the property. Property use is very important. Local zoning and land use laws affect how your property can be used. Sometimes the zoning or other restrictions may be changed, but you should be aware of the permitted uses before you buy the property and be familiar with the process to change the zoning if possible. The experienced attorney can assist you with zoning change if the change is permitted by the local government. You should also be familiar with all matters of public record that may affect your use of the property. Sometimes buyers are surprised that an easement or right-of-way exists on their new property and that may prohibit their intended use. When purchasing any real estate, whether it is residential, commercial, or vacant land, we highly recommend First, obtaining a title commitment when you sign the purchase contract and obtaining a title policy at closing. Title commitments and title policies are common, but we are surprised when they are not always obtained. They are important because a title commitment will identify the matters of public record that affect the property. If an easement was recorded 20 years ago, for example, for an underground water line through the middle of the property, the title commitment should identify it. Upon satisfying the requirements of the title commitment, you will receive a title policy at closing that ensures your title to the property. For vacant and commercial land, we also recommend obtaining a survey that identifies the matters of public record as listed on the title commitment. This will allow you to see if the potential easements, right-of-ways, or other encumbrances will prohibit your intended use of the property. These are only a few of the issues to consider when you're purchasing real property. If you are considering a purchase of real property and would like legal assistance, please contact us and we'd be happy to assist you. Thank you. Facts in 5 was brought to you by the Fruitkin Law Firm. Facts in 5 is a series of short, general, informational presentations for the public. This is not legal advice. You should contact an attorney with specific questions regarding your particular situation. For more information, visit us on the web at www.fruitkinlaw.com.